all the things I had went through Came into my life, then you was gone Now I felt like I was all on my own Never had a felt, felt so in love You was like an angel sent from above Now I'm sitting here, wishing so high Tears rolling down, both of my eyes Mom just shattered, shattered like glass Think about all the boys from my past He heard me, he teased me He did everything but he don't believe me I'm so broken, broken inside Ain't no feelings I can't hide You was like a drug and I was addicted Feeling like my whole world excited because I get to introduce you guys to my newest friend. This is Fame Johnson. How you doing? How and you doing? Fame and I just by happenstance met at the mall the other day. You are a rap yes, artist yes, in Victoria, Texas. Thank you so much yes, for coming on this yes, show. Yes, so and I got the I got a chance the other day to come to your studio. You were so sweet about um, you know becoming a 365 Victoria. Yeah, so yeah. so that was neat. That so was, I'm glad that you came to sit on the studio in the big chair. This is pretty cool. That's <laughs> oh, a, thank this you is very cool. much. Yeah. yeah. This is really cool. Well, we, you know, one of the things that we strive to do um, here on Southbridge is to, you know, to uh, literally to bridge um, some gaps within the community right. and, and to be able to talk to um, Victoria about things that they may not know what's going right, on. Right, and right. one of the things that I think was so cool is that I had no idea that there was a professional, you know, rap studio in Victoria. It, it, it's a few of them. It's a yes, few of them. there yeah. are a few. It's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my my friends BTB uh, uh -huh. Entertainment they have one they have a real nice one, um, and I think it's a couple more uh, Fortune 500. Yes. Uh, Robert Gentry. Oh, they, yeah. oh cool. Oh you're uh, gonna shout out to them yeah, as well. I they, love that. They, they have one. It's it's a <laughs> few though. Yeah yeah. Yes. It's a lot of people uh, that's doing music out here mm -hmm. with studios. So yeah. can we tell them the joke about how we met at the at the mall? <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I had um. <laughs> I had my son, <laughs> and he was running around, running around, and I'm like, Caden, Caden, Caden. He yes. was climbing on top of the thing <laughs> in Route 21. I'm, he was, man, like he was like it was a tree. He, sure. He's up there, and I right. had my back turned. Hey, boy, get down. So, and then. Uh, okay, I have the team, yeah. and she's like disgruntled about everything. Yeah. You know, nothing's, <laughs> yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. no, I don't like that mom. I don't like that mom. And yeah. we just kind of locked eyes. And For real. We were, we were like, hey, you want a two-year-old? And I was like, this is for a trade? team? Yeah, yeah, real, 
<laughs> you want to trade? And so. don't be judging because you've had a two-year-old, and if you've had a teen, you know exactly what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yeah, Caden, <laughs> Caden runs, runs me crazy every day. Every but day. it was, a, but you had, you know, a smile on your face. You could see too the love that you have yeah, yeah. for your kiddo. Mine yeah, too. Yeah, all love them, Because man. you have six. Yeah, and they yes. all run me crazy. <laughs> except my, except my teenage daughter. Like my daughters, they don't really, you know, run me that crazy no more. But the boys, man, the boys. The is, boys. See, my boys were super easy. It's oh, the teen girls yeah. that I'm like, hmm. The boys. Yeah. So it's so. What is it like to have six? Uh, I ain't gonna say stressful. Yeah. It's just trying to um, take care of everything right? for them. You know, yes. if if one call, Dad, I need this. Right. I'm gonna get it. You know, and right. then it's just trying to get them. Make sure they're happy. Right. You know what I mean? That's that's my thing. Make and, sure they're happy. And you had said, too, you know, previously that it's, you know, you were really on the fence about, you know, being a rap artist and, 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 and doing some other things. And you always, you one of the things that you said I thought was such a great analogy is that you always had one foot in and one, and foot, one out. foot out. Yeah. And now you're both. Both feet in. Feet in, yeah. yes. Both feet so in. So tell me about this business in Victoria. What's it like? It's, 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 um, it's, it's very profitable. Mm -hmm. If you do it right, right, and it's support here, you know, man. But right. like I said in that last interview, it's work, 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 work. Right. Like people want to see the work from you. Right. You know, videos, shows, interviews, mm -hmm. just merchandise. They want to see the work. You know what I mean? Right. They want to make sure that you're doing it right. And if you are, right. they're they're gonna you know support you to the fullest. So you're I'm really saying. on the production side. I'm on the the, or, the artist it, side. Right, the artist side. I'm and I'm learning the mixing and engineer mm -hmm. side, you know. But as far as the networking and stuff, mm -hmm. all that, I'm just like doing it all, trying to right, trying to do it all. all of it, both feet in. Yes, ma'am. And hard, hard work. Yes, ma'am. Trying to yes. do it all. Like, I literally get up in the morning and go straight to the studio and work yep. on music. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I do that and uh, yeah, and try to network and and talk mm -hmm. to people and and get places. What's and, the rap scene like here in Victoria? You have a lot of good rappers, like a lot of good rappers. Yes. I can na I can name off like you got Scripture, you got mm -hmm. uh, Duty, you have uh, Sanctify, you have Eight K, you have um, DD Bo, you have mm -hmm. it's a lot of good rappers here, right. you know. And the thing is, we just need to like kind of come together and push it all as one. Mm -hmm. And when it get there. It, it, it'll blow. I'm, I'm right. sure of it. You know what I mean? So. Because a lot of your work is, um, you know, also done in some of the major cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a lot of um, people I know mm -hmm. and connects in, in Houston and Corpus and um, Austin, mm -hmm. radio, radio people, mm -hmm. uh, artists, producers, just a lot of people. But right. my thing is I don't um, use them for mm -hmm. <coughs> that. I like to work right. towards that and then I don't just like, hey man, I need this. You know, I don't want, right. I don't really want no handouts. So I really just try to work right. towards what I'm gonna do sure. and then show them that I'm a, a hard worker right. and then everything else will fall in place. What is your biggest dream? My biggest dream is to make sure my family is straight and make sure we are stable and make sure the kids happy. Like right. that's the big thing with me is the kids like I, I want them to be happy, you know what I mean? So that's what I'll be striving for is to make them right. happy. That's what I heard about you. Yeah, that and make sure everything, yeah. make sure they get everything they want, not just yes. materially, materialistic mm -hmm. stuff, right. love, the um, support, aspect, right. everything, you know what I mean? All right. Well, I, I kind of had heard that that would be probably how you would answer it, but let me ask <laughs> you on it. Let me ask you in a, in a set, like, um, in a more um, selfish, but a, but the beauty in being selfish question. What is your dream as an artist? Um to make the, I ain't gonna say the, well, yeah, to, to make the world mm -hmm. and the people know who Fame Johnson is, you right. know what I mean? As far as my music, as far as the person mm -hmm. I am, like the real person, you know sure. what I mean? You know, that, All yeah. Right. I'm gonna ask you something then. Who is the real Fame Johnson? Me, I'm cool, I'm uh, loving, mm -hmm. I'm respectful, uh, and I, I, I like to give insight and, and, and advice you know what I'm saying? The people that's really willing to mm -hmm. listen and listen to what I got to say. You know what I mean? I have right. I have friends and, and older friends that, that 
that pulled my coattail and tell mm -hmm. me, hey, man, you're doing this wrong, or hey, man, you need to do this. And I listen, and I take right. it into consideration. I may apply it to some mm -hmm. stuff. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's that's me. You does know that I mean? come out in your music? Yeah, does some 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 production? songs, some songs it, it does. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Some songs it does. My music, I do a lot of uh, like it's like a gumbo. I do everything. Like I do a gumbo. A, yeah, I do. Is like that what you're gonna say? I love yeah. that. I do all kind of <laughs> stuff. Like music, far as um, content, I, I make mm -hmm. it about the streets. I make it about real life, I make it about mm -hmm. pain, I make it about females, I make it about, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, happy, fun, I, I, right. that's just my music, you know what I mean? So is it is it interesting to be a rapper but then be known for being really positive and upbeat? Uh, no, because I, I kind of right. was always like that. I, sure. I've always been, you know, a lot of people used to tell me, man, why you, why you are, now this is before, you know, mm -hmm. I mean after my mom, you know, passed and everything, but right. People are always, man, why why are you always smiling and stuff? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. like, right after she passed, it mm -hmm. was no smiles. You know what I'm saying? No smiles at all. Right. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Something just got into me and, and say, you know, live your life, man. Do good and, and mm -hmm. stay smiling and happy. So right. you know, that's, that's kind of what I try to do. Sure. You know I mean? Which isn't to say that rappers are not generally happy because no, I, yeah, I've, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I've yeah, had yeah. the opportunity to study and to, yes. you know, to be a part of the music, to yeah. be immersed. And we've talked about this before, too, is yeah. the poetry. The poetry, mm -hmm. rap, hip-hop, music, period. I ain't yeah. going to say hip-hop. I ain't going to just like put right. it in a box. Sure. Like, um, music is, is poetry. Right. It's your feelings. It's it's you mm -hmm. um, giving other people your story, mm -hmm. and then them feeling it. You know what I mean? And right. when they feel it, of course they're gonna gravitate towards it and want to mm -hmm. hear more and more. You may give them a happy feeling. You may mm -hmm. give them a sad feeling. You may give them s even an angry feeling. Like it's mm -hmm. all about feelings. That's what music do to you. It triggers feelings. You know what I right. mean? You might listen to a song. You might be mad at your best friend. Then you listen to a song. And then be like, man, I, I'm sorry, I apologize. It's right. third. You know what I mean? That's what music does to you. So, yes. you know, yeah. All right. So here's my, uh, I always have to ask these because it's just <laughs> feet to the fire question. You're stranded on a desert island. You know how this goes. Okay. You can only hear one rap song anytime that you're on this island, desert island, and, mm -hmm. you, and it's the same rap song every time. What would be that one song? Honestly, I'm going to mm -hmm. be real honest with you right now. I, I, I've, I've always been, like I say, I've. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. to Nipsey right. Hussle. I always been uh, knowing about Nipsey Hussle, but right. his music I was I've I've been into it, but I just really 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 got into it. And and mm -hmm. he has a song called Hustle and Motivate, and Hustle that and song motivate. like just does something to me. You know what I mean? It just like gets you up gets you up and going sure. gets you up and going. So yeah, that song right there. I was planning on the way over here. Were you really? <laughs> yeah, oh, like I was I'll play it as soon as you yeah, go. Yeah, I was planning over on the way over here. Just mm -hmm. the the words in it is exactly what it, it does to you. Mm -hmm. It makes you hustle and it motivates you. You know what Good. I mean? The, the, the lyrics yes. in it. So yeah, that song right there. That's mm -hmm. that's the song I'll be playing every day. When you were younger, and you had um, you know you were having some uh, an opportunity. Now you were not from Victoria. You're actually no, from California. From California. So when did you move to Victoria? Um, let me see. I was born in Compton. Mm -hmm. Shout out Compton. Uh, raised in San Diego. Well, I'm gonna say mm -hmm. raised. I was raised till about I was about 12, 13 right. in San Diego. Uh -huh. Shout out San Diego, 45th and Logan. Um, and then uh, I didn't get in no trouble, but I. Uh, I was a youngster, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mama was on drugs and all that stuff like that. So I ended up waking up one morning, one, one night, mm -hmm. and I didn't see her, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. she was out or whatever. So I went out, and the cops stopped me, right? What are you doing out here? So I told them. They took me immediately to the, 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 the mm -hmm. uh, uh, ju not the juvenile, right, right. but the, you know, foster CPS, care. Yes, yes, yes. So went there, ended up getting adopted. Really? I ended up getting adopted by this lady. Now, this mm -hmm. is my story, y'all. This is Nobody really knows this. Like, right. I don't really tell people about this Thank unless you they for ask. But, your story. Um, ended up getting adopted, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And uh, my mom, it took her like six months to find me because she didn't know where I was at. She was looking, so she ended up finding me, going to go to court, you know what I mean? Right. And uh, the courts ordered her to bring me over here to Texas to my uncle and them and leave me with them and for her to come back. 
she brought me over here and mm -hmm. stayed with me. So we ended up staying. Right. And uh, she ended up getting sick. And then she ended up dying, mm -hmm. you know. Um, my mama died of HIV, you know. Mm -hmm. So she ended up dying. And I ended up, me and my brother ended up just being here. You know, I have a lot of family here. I got a lot of family in California, too. But, right. you know, we end up kind of getting stuck. You know what I mean? Right. And after she passed. So, I mean, but. How for long the, ago did she pass away? Oh, man, it's been years and years ago. This is like in 1997. Wow. She passed How old were you? I was what 17 18 wow. yeah she she you know so she um but the one thing i can say about my mama and i i, I knew she knew she was sick i didn't know you right. know what i mean so in that little time that she was given to teach me mm -hmm. to be a man she she did that that's awesome like from 12 to like it was like six right. years she had right. so she done that so by the time i was 17 18 mm -hmm. i already you know, man, knew, knew, like, right. kind of what to do. And plus, I had sure. friends that helped me out, you know, with with being a, a man and, and survival and just teaching right. me how to do this and do that right. and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's wow. that's how I got stuck here. But I'm, I'm glad I got stuck here. Yes. You know what I mean? Because I got a lot of family out here, a lot mm -hmm. of friends out here that really, like, right. love me. You know, what I mean? I, you know, I don't know if you wanted to talk about because you know, I know you don't have all the details yet, but mm -hmm. you're really trying to band together with some some friends, some like minded um, individuals and artists yeah. and work with kids. Yeah, man. That, um, are, the, the that kids, are needing an outlet. Yeah. I was talking to one of my friends yesterday. I mean, what, two days ago. And he was mm -hmm. like, man, you know what? We, we ought to, you know, start some kind of program for the mm -hmm. for the kids, teenagers and stuff. I was like, man, you know what? That's that's a good idea. Right. Because. You got to look, man. It's nothing for the kids to do here in Victoria. Right. After they get out of school, it's nothing for them to do. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all. You know what I mean? So we we are, you know, trying to put together Looking something. At, yes. Yeah, for them an opportunity. to do. Like just to teach them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like like I said, that whole, you know, uh, Nipsey Hussle passing thing, it, mm -hmm. it woke a lot of people up. And for us to, to try to try to teach the youth, Mm -hmm. to you know work you know right. what i'm saying work hard right. and um teach them if you work hard towards something it'll eventually mm -hmm. happen it might not happen when you want it to right. but it's going to happen if you keep working towards it so you made a reference so this thing with the nipsey hustle mm -hmm. you say it woke people up you mean it's because he uh a lot wanted of people some change because yeah, he did some things against the status quo he invested in real yeah, estate and yeah. did some things a lot of people didn't know he was I knew, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I I was on his music but I knew what he was he was into, you mm -hmm. know, doing as far as buying back the neighborhood, buying back um mm -hmm. you know, uh properties and stuff sure, like that. Sure, he was that. investing. Yeah, yes, investing. which was an interesting. I read that. Yeah, his own merchandise, selling his own clothes, just really kind of mm -hmm. cutting out the middle person in sure. everything and just getting a hundred percent of of your stuff because mm -hmm. it is your stuff like right. you came up with the plan you made these clothes you put mm -hmm. your money into doing this and that mm -hmm. so that is your stuff you and his I mean? plan eventually was to to help the neighborhoods that needed the most yeah like help and that wasn't necessarily a popular it's, opinion it, yeah for some of uh, some right. people okay. they, they don't because yeah, I, I don't understand right the, the politics, <laughs> the and, politics and, of, and you know what and in our interview maybe we don't you know right. we don't have to delve into right. those those just, politics the thing is but that just, he was different and yeah, he was an inspiration exactly it's just mm -hmm. just showing people not just kids but people period on how to to, to be do your own thing and, and sure. have your own thing right you know what I mean because it's a big old pie, and everybody always want a piece out of it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And you should be able to to give a person a piece if you want to give them a piece. You know what right. I mean? Don't don't uh, give somebody a piece of your pie because they feel obligated to have a piece. No, right. give them a piece because you want to give them a piece. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that that's that's basically what it is. We just trying to mm -hmm. you know get the get the kids learn and, and right. teach them the, how to do the, the work same hard, thing. the hard work ethic. Yeah, yes, the work ethic. Because you're sometimes in your studio. Man, like mm -hmm. hours. I spent like five hours mixing a song one time. Right. <laughs> like just the one. Five hours mixing wow. one song, like it's it's mm -hmm. it's time consuming. You know what I mean? Right. But if you love it. It don't feel like work. That's right. what I say. Like like this you do, you love this. It don't feel like work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like if, if you're going to work 
and and I know you have days before work. <laughs> and I know I know you people have to work. I know we have to mm-hmm. work, but I feel like man, a lot of people are just take this in consideration. Find something that you love to do, so it don't mm-hmm. feel like work. Right. You know what I mean? A lot of people are working jobs they don't want to do. They sure. feel like they slaves because they don't want to be there. You right. know what I mean? But if you find some, I don't care what it is. Mm-hmm. You, it can be, you know, uh, uh, counting white pieces of paper. If you love to do that, mm-hmm. do it. You know what I mean? But a lot of people are working jobs they don't, they mm-hmm. don't, they don't love, they don't like. Right. And I feel like, like, man, get you something that you love to do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's how I feel about it. Because it's important, I think, sometimes to come home happy than it is to yeah. come home. Yeah, stressful. Like rich. It's a lot of people yeah. that that does that do jobs that come home happy because they love their work. Right. You know. Do what you mean? love your work? I love my work. Yeah, nice. and I want to do it like even like more, even on a bigger scale. But yeah, mm-hmm. I love it. I love the work. I love the work. I love the interviews. I love the mixing. I love mm-hmm. the coming up with raps. And it ain't all about just music. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I love the networking. I, I want to, I love the branding part of sure. it. You know what I mean? The creativity part of it. I love all that. The you know? people. Is it neat to watch someone come into your studio that has a song that they're passionate about yeah. and, and put it out? Yeah, because it, it uh, when somebody come in there like that mm-hmm. with a song, and especially if it's a really, really, really dope song, it resonates to you as mm-hmm. the engineer or the, or the person recording. So now... When they come in there with that song and it's it's really dope, you want to put as much creativity and as much make it as perfect as po- possible, right? Because you know this is a good song, so mm-hmm. yeah, that that's it's 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 good. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So what's next for you? What's next for me? Um, I, like I said, I do the music, but I'm really want to brand my label mm-hmm. and and um, build the label. Right. You know what I mean? Bring some artists in push them and uh, just hit different cities and, and mm-hmm. talk to different people and do do stuff like that. Just build the label up. That's really where I'm at with it right, right now is building the label up because you can search my name on Google and a bunch of like right. music will pop up, different stuff, sure. songs with Kevin Gates, songs mm-hmm. with uh, Little Flip, Just Britney, a bunch of local artists, right. all kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I've, I've, I've kind of, I ain't going to say I've accomplished or – Right. But I I'm just on another, you know, right. level right now where sure. I'm trying to build the brand. Up. So what is your brand? Uh, 2020 Vision Entertainment. 2020 Vision Entertainment. 2020 Vision Entertainment, cool. meaning um, you could just see, you know, mm-hmm. just be clear, sure. clear, clear, clear picture. You know, whatever you're trying to do, be clear cool. about it. You know what I mean? That's oh, I see the the vision. The vision, that. yeah, yes. the vision. You have to have be a clear the bigger about picture. It, right. The vision, yeah. Well, very cool. So now, if anyone is interested in coming to visit your studio, how would we get in contact with you? Um, I'm pretty sure uh, everybody know where Underground Connection is on, right. on the rent. Shout uh-huh. out Charlie, Underground Connection, Charlie and Monica, man. Yes. Appreciate all the love and all the help y'all have yeah. um, given me. Because I've been to your studio. It's awesome. Yeah, Underground yeah. Connection. Underground, it's right, yeah. right, right behind cool. Underground Connection. Yes. Or you can even go in there. Mm-hmm. And they'll bring you right back to the studio. Perfect. You know what I mean? So very cool. They they show a lot of love, man. So sure. I'm very grateful to have right. you know Charlie and Monica to have an opportunity to do that. Yeah, we're yeah. in the same boat. I'm very grateful yeah. for the opportunity to you be able have to, to do you this. You have to yeah. be grateful, man, and appreciate to of uh, people. Mm-hmm. You know that's that's helping even in the smallest way. Like like right. that's the thing. Like we even with any like little blessing, it could be the smallest or the biggest blessing. I always say. Thank you, God. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I always thank Him. The smallest to the biggest breast blessing. I don't care what it is. Mm-hmm. I always recognize it and say, I "Thank you, God." You know what yes. I mean? Because that kind of stuff, you know, you have to appreciate it and recognize it. Right. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Thank you so much <laughs> yes, for coming ma'am. out today. Yes, I really appreciate it. Yes, so ma'am. I'm gonna come and and play in your studio. It'll be like the worst, <laughs> and you'll be for hours I mean, on end. We can make you. We can make you we sound can, good. We could do. We could do something fun. I, I also want to shout out the Plug Radio. Sure. Um, Don. Um, AK. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I've been wanting to meet yeah, them. Yeah. Yes. DJ Awall. Um, mm-hmm. I want to shout out BTB Entertainment. Sure. Um, Ra Ra and Duty, um, and just everybody in Victoria that's doing music, right. man. Shout out to y'all guys. Cool, and, yes. Uh, y'all already know I'm already w- willing to work with anybody, so mm-hmm. we just trying to make it rise for the 361. Perfect. And, you know, shout out everybody that's doing, doing Cool. Everything.
So 2020 Vision Entertainment. 2020 Vision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was Spain Johnson. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, ma'am. And thank you guys so much for watching South Bridge Street Live. Yes, ma'am. Tears rolling down, both of my eyes, my eyes shattered, shattered like glass. Thinking about all the boys from my.